everybody. So today, this is going to be a very special video, especially for me, because I am going to be videoing my dream car. This car is for sale now at CQS Classic Group. Guys, I have been craving for a very long time to be filming this Citroen SM. It was always my dream to be near one. It was always my dream to own one and drive one. But for the sake of this video, we won't be driving this Citroen SM. We will be just looking at it. And well, it, my dream has finally come through being near it, guys. Here's the story about the Citroen SM. In the 1950s, Citroen released the DS, the famous legendary model that forever revolutionized the car industry. How cool is that? Now, in the 1960s, early 1960s, Citroen started the Project S. The Project S was aimed to come up with a sporty version of the Citroen DS. Now, there are many prototypes that never made it to production. Well, they were, they were there were many test mules, they were on the road, they were being tested, but it was horrible, guys. The, the prototypes were just a Citroen DS Coupe version, which had exactly these hubcaps, but it was only so... It had a selective taste, alright? That's my opinion, but it never made it to production, so there were no opinions, basically. However, I have an opinion, and my opinion of the test mule was that it was not a good test mule. Anyway, with that aside, in 1969, but before 1969, in 1968, Citroen purchased Maserati. Because they purchased the Maserati company, they were able to acquire the intelligence Maserati had. Maserati was known, and to this day they're still known, for doing massive engines for sports cars. However, there was one problem Maserati had. Maserati could not do a V6 engine, so they were forced to adapt themselves in some ways. Citroen wanted a V6 engine for this SM because of the French taxation system, if I'm correct. You know, the French tax system was very harsh that time, and so Citroen had to come with something to uh, comply with the tax laws. If I'm correct, guys, if I'm correct. I'm not 100% sure, but I know uh, Maserati had a bit of a hard time, but they got away with it, guys. They did a wonderful job. And, uh, well, they came up with a very nice V6 engine for this wonderful Citroen SM. It's a 90 degrees V6 engine. So, you know, you'd have three cylinders like this, you know, 90 degrees. It creates a very unique genre for this car, I tell you, because it's got the engine of a sports car for a front wheel drive. And yet, when you look at this car, you get this impression it's, well, it's a Citroen, it's a real Citroen, but then it drives like a Rolls Royce, it feels like a Rolls Royce, so there was some very mixed genre about the Citroen SM, and I think this is what gives the SM its own identity! Yes! In 1969, now comes the year, we had the Citroen SM rollout for production guys it actually was aired in public i think it was 1969 or 1970 i'm not sure but in 1969 it came out in the geneva motor show it was it was public you know everyone saw it in motor shows everywhere but then in 1970 i think that's when it was declared officially produced that's when it was the official production i'm not sure i think it was 1969 1970 but whichever year it was we can agree it was around that time and uh, however there were some issues. The production was short-lived. It was only for five years. In 1975, Citroën went bankrupt and they were acquired by Peugeot. Well, actually what happened was the French government got involved in this. Um, and what, if I'm correct, they kind of made Peugeot, they, they kind of had Peugeot buy Citroën in order to save Citroën. Now basically, you know, they, they formed the, a group called the PSA Peugeot Citroën Group. 
that's the group they formed. Now, after the, that group formed, the Citroën SM was axed out of production. They stopped it. They killed it. To this very day, I am absolutely shocked to the core why it happened. Why? The Citroën SM was a masterpiece. Why did they decide to stop production? All because of 1975, that year was a very bad year for the SM. It only sold 115 figures, if I'm correct. Come on, you don't give up. You have to make it better. The most important point about this car was that where it was built. It was built in the heart of Paris, at the Quai de Javel factory. Citroën, oh no, it's, it's André Citroën Quai de Javel factory? I'm not sure. But today it's called the Parc André Citroën. It's a park. But if you go to that park in Paris, you will actually notice it's got the architecture, the design of a factory production line. So, hope you feel some Citroën SM vibes when you go there. Now, most car enthusiasts or most people who like classic cars have a thing for Ford Mustangs or Ford pickup trucks or something American that's from the 60s or 50s or even 80s, who knows? Or even some Mercedes or something German like a BMW. But me, I am obsessed with Citroëns from the 70s. And this is no exception, guys. The Citroen SM was designed by Robert Opron. He did a fabulous job, guys. Well done, Robert Opron. Well done. Now, if you look at this design here, the first thing you would think of is something Maserati would do in the 70s. And this is correct, because Citroen owned Maserati. So I'm assuming, like, like, now every time I see this, this design is an identity which has now lived on in the world of coupes. Like, I've seen this in many cars these days. Even the BMW 4 Series. Like, I, I mean, I've seen this edge. I really like the front of the Citroen SM. And then I also like the side view of it and the rear fender. I like the rear fender uh, wheel cover. Like, you, you see this uh, cover? I like it. It really does look nice. I, I, I'm a fan of Citroëns for that purpose. I mean, it's, it's very special to me, uh, this design. It's something legendary. It's something... This is just so Citroën. This is something they would do, you know? It's aerodynamic. Ah, uh, don't you just love this rear? I like how this feels like real metal. And also, if you feel the quality of the metal, the quality of the materials used, it is actual metal, guys. It's metal. It's, it's, it's so cool. Now, it's time to go into the interior of the Citroen SM. Now, this is the moment of truth, guys. I, this is like one of, the, this is the first time I've ever been inside the interior of a Citroen SM. And boy, oh gosh, the moment of truth is about to be here. So this is the interior of the Citroen SM. It's lovely, guys. Really nice. Now you get special seat belts, so this is how you have to close it. Oh, I feel nice. It feels very good. It feels very nice. I feel like I'm ready to go on a drive. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Oh guys, I'm so sorry, it's just... It was always my dream to sit inside a Citroen SM. It was always my dream. It's, my dream has finally come through, guys. I'm actually inside a Citroen SM. Look at the steering wheel carefully. It looks more like an oval shape. Not bad. Not bad at all. I, I like it. You can hold it like this. Or you can drive like this, but... I highly doubt for a car like this, you'd be driving it in this position. The best way to drive a car, the best way to drive this Citroen SM is like this. Arms like this, back straight, and uh, make sure everything is at your reach. So make sure this gear stick is at your reach. So the th aspect that makes the Citroen SM special and why many people in the 70s 
considered this car ahead of its time was because of many aspects this car could do. This many aspects this car had. For example, this car had one of the fastest braking reaction ever. Just push the brake at high speed, and next thing you know, you're at a full stop. This car had very fast acceleration, and that's no surprise because of the Maserati engine showing its colors at high speed. Then also, the, another aspect that made the Citroen uh, SM special was how it uh, it had air conditioning in this car. But that's nothing that special because many luxury cars also had air conditioning at those days. Uh, but, you know, it's very nice to see that the Citroen SM has employed it in here. And also you get... Uh, another aspect that another aspect that made this Citroen SM a special car was how it was designed. This design looked like no other car in the 70s, guys. Average cars in the 70s were designed out for practical reasons. They were designed to be A to B machines. Then you had luxury cars which were just as boxy, like the Rolls-Royce of those days, like the BMWs and Mercedes of those days, all sharp edges. Citroen thought otherwise. Citroen thought, no, we're not doing sharp edges, we're doing something aerodynamic. And this is what they've come up with. So this is the interior of the Citroen SM, guys. Just admire it. Wow. Just beautiful, guys. And just look, this is the seat belt. Oh, uh, you have the proud Citroen logo on it. How nice. And you got storage here. How nice. How nice is that? Look at the pedals. They have uh, a button as a brake pedal. That's very interesting choice of uh, pedal right there. Like, why would they have a button? But it's still good nonetheless. It's like something you just have to get used to. I really like how this piece of uh, the body really cocoons you guys. Like, look, it's very, it's very soft, very nice. And then here you have the hydraulic controls. So you can, uh, with this, you can determine the level of your suspension. So now the suspension is at its lowest setting because now we're parked, so I can even reach the floor. Um, however, you can, I think if you put it here, that's the utmost setting, and that's for when you are off the tarmac. And if you put it there, that's the lowest setting, and that's, I think, in my opinion, the best when you're on the highway because you want to have an aerodynamic uh, feel, you know, you really want to make the most of this car. The SM, the Citroen SM. Initially, when I opened the door, I was actually thinking that there was this was the lighting system or something. But actually, I just realized this is just shiny metal. Guys, this is actually shiny metal. This has to be one of the largest air conditioning I've ever seen. I mean, wow. It's very nice. Very nice. It's, but I mean, it's normal for the 70s. I mean, back then, you didn't have infotainment system. <laughs> So obviously most of the space was dedicated to air conditioning and luxury features. Here are the buttons to open the window. How nice is that? And this... Okay, I'm assuming this is supposed to be the front headlights or something. Not sure. Here you have the radio. And this is the handbrake likewise. And here you have the ashtray. Like, believe it or not, they've dedicated this whole thing to an ashtray. Wow. Looks like this is proof those were the real 70s, guys. And you have a nice radio here. Oh, wow. Sweet 70s when you had a radio down there. I like having the radio here. It actually feels quite luxurious. Whereas nowadays, cars have it all the way there. So it's a bit... Hmm, you have to constantly... Yeah. But it's okay. It doesn't matter. Here you have the indicators. And then you also have the wiper controls. And guys, believe it or not, this is the horn of the Citroen SM. The horn is here. So, I'm not sure what this button is, but... Uh... So, I've just discovered that this is the interior lighting. Like, right here. Nice lighting, it reminds me of the 70s. And I'm not sure what this gauge is for, but I'm I'm seeing it's written oil there, so I can only assume that's supposed to be uh, the engine oil. 
but this would be very important because this is a Maserati engine you're dealing with so in other words this is no joke guys you have to be very careful you know just do your regular maintenance and this is heaven to drive with so this is supposed to be the hydraulic part of the Citroen SM engine bay here that's the Maserati engine as you've seen just now here you have the hydraulic controls and down there you have the battery hiding it's like all the way down there guys another problem people had with the Citroen SM they complained about was that uh, whenever there was an issue like whenever a problem was in the engine or something many parts had to be like basically you had to do an operation you had to remove everything just to get to that part like for example that battery looks very nicely buried down there well, the thing to note about the Citroen SM is that for some reason people say that they are unreliable Citroens are unreliable blah 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 but you know what I say I say the opposite I think the drivers are just careless they don't look after their cars that's why their car is unreliable the Citroen SM would have been one of the most reliable cars at that time had the owners looked after it properly. This Maserati engine was the source of many people's complaints. They say the engine needed tuning and they, didn't, they weren't aware of it. They, didn't, they weren't informed of it. The Maserati engine was special because it needed to be tuned by a certified Maserati specialist. And some of the problems also lie with the hydraulic system. There were, one time I read a, a source where they were discussing about the Citroen DS and the SM and many Citroens that had the hydraulic uh, system. They, may, they explained that sometimes the hydraulic system would die anyways because of the rust in the piping system. You have to thoroughly look after your Citroen SM, tune the engine when it needs tuning and make sure the hydraulic si system is up to scratch, up to date. That's very important. That's gonna make your Citroen SM last a way lifetime your Citroen SM can last a lifetime it can outlast any car on the in the world on this road as long as you look after it and do your maintenance you want my conclusion of the Citroen SM I feel like I'm in the 70s guys Woo! no okay dance aside I I really love the Citroen SM Oh, I love this Citroen SM. I really love it, guys. It's it's really nice, you know. And I, I personally think the Citroen SM is the best car ever. So, guys, stay tuned for more videos that are on the run. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to enjoy the interior of this Citroen SM. <sighs> What? I'm enjoying myself. Come on. Let's do this. It's better than a Ford Mustang. <laughs>